Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd be so kind as to take your seats, please. Meine Damen und Herren, wenn Sie sich bitte setzen würden. Wir fangen gleich an. We'll just start shortly. Guten Tag. Hello. Welcome. I'm Melinda Crane and I have the great honor to accompany you today during this Munich conference on the new TLDs. And of course, it's a, a very special time to be here in Munich during the Oktoberfest. And uh, hopefully you didn't spend too long there yesterday evening. You'll have another opportunity to go in the course of the conference, many of you. In any event, it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you on behalf of our host, United Domains, and its founder and CEO, Marcus Eggensberger. May I ask you just to stand up for a moment, Marcus? I know that you and the whole team are delighted to see such an amazing turnout, and we have a really exciting program ahead. I'm also very pleased uh, to give these very special greetings to our diamond sponsor, Philip Grabensee, the chairman of Affilias. Welcome to you as well. We're awfully grateful to Affilias and also to our patron, the Bavarian government. A warm welcome also to the Bavarian IT delegate and state secretary at the finance ministry, Franz Josef Führer. We will be hearing from him later on today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here, as you know, because we're on the threshold of a new epoch in the age of the Internet. After years of discussion and debate, and no less than seven revisions, the Internet Naming Board, ICANN, is launching the biggest change to the Internet naming system since dot-com was introduced 26 years ago. Starting just three months from now, in January 2012, ICANN will take applications for new global top-level domains. Say goodbye to the dull, old, black and white world of .com, .gov, .org. By the end of next year, we're going to see URLs ending in almost any word in any language, a technicolor world of website suffixes like .pharma, .green, .gay, ranging anywhere from industry sector to region to ethnicity or language. Three months isn't very long. That means now is the time to find out whether you and your business, your brand, should be applying right away. Should you be an early applicant or should you wait and see? What opportunities do the new GTLDs offer? How do the benefits of registering compare with the risks? What are the challenges? What kind of new support will applicants need to have in place? What kind of competition do brands face if they register? or if they don't. And how will the new system affect the consumers, affect their search habits, for example, online marketing? All of those are the questions that we want to talk about with you today. Our aims are to make this a really accessible event, an event that will be comprehensible to all of those who are perhaps not yet insiders, and we want to do that in dialogue with all of you. Our format includes keynotes, but it also includes a lot of panels for that very reason. And we also have the opportunity to visit the exhibi exhibition from the supporters and the sponsors. They, too, are going to be eager to enter into dialogue with you. So do pose your questions to them in the area outside this room. I'm sure you saw the stands as you came in. And many thanks to all of the sponsors and supporters who are here today and who have been so kind as to set up the information stands that you've seen there. Well, as I said, we will be proceeding for the next two days with a format that includes a lot of different 
kinds of panels, keynotes, and so on in two different channels. We have channel A and channel B. At the moment, we're all united, but later on, we will have to make some decisions about who goes where. In general, as a word of guidance, channel B is for those who are most likely potential applicants, somewhat more specialized information in the formats in channel B. You do all have a copy of the agenda with you, so you can take a look uh, at which track might be best suited to your needs. No matter what, all of the plenary keynotes that we have will also be broadcast in the second room in channel B per video link. So you won't have to miss any of the big events if you do decide to attend Channel B. And as I say, take a look at the agenda uh, to see which events you think might be best suited to your needs. At the end of the day today, we will have a wrap-up that includes question and answer with a panel of experts. So any questions that you didn't find answered today in Channel A or Channel B, do bring along with you, please, to that last panel of the day if you attend it.